Hello students. In this program, I am going to discuss how to calculate the factorial of a number through a Java program. Please subscribe my channel, press subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon also for the future video notifications. Now write a program in Java to calculate the factorial of a number entered by the user. Example factorial of uh, n which is a number here of n number will be the product of all the numbers from number 1 to up to the number. So 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into up to n. So that's there. And then factorial of 5 uh, will be 120 that is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 that is equal to 120. So we'll discuss the program now. First line says write a program in Java. So immediately we have to write the class and the class name. So the class is factorial. So we write class factorial. After that calculate the factorial of a number entered by the user. So first we enter a number. For this we need to define a function. How to define a function? We always uh, uh, think about public static void main. So here we are having a function where we will pick up the public from there. Return type is void. Static is not required. Then uh, main instead of main function, I am going to name it as a user defined function that is cal right now. And uh, I have named the function instead of main. The name is here cal. And a number has been passed as an argument. All right. This makes th things faster for us while writing a program in, in the examination. Uh, now the curly brace open and the curly brace closed. That is the beginning and the end of the function definition. Now this function will be kept inside the class. So we have class factorial curly brace op open. That means the definition of the uh, class begins and then public void uh, cal is the function that is int n number is passed. Uh, its factorial is to be calculated then curly brace is open and close for the function and then finally last curly brace close that means the definition of the function sorry class is over now now the logic of calculating the factorial first thing we need to uh, have a variable which will store the result means the factorial so here the as means when we multiply the numbers uh, the, that that value grows very fast so the long is a better option than int for the factorial. So I have taken here long f and since we are multiplying uh, the number with it, so it will be initialized with one. If we have it zero, then the answer will be zero. So please, this is a very, very important area where many students make a mistake. All right. Now, when we have to multiply, you have seen in the example one into two into three into four up to n. So that means I have to move from one to up to n. So that means I have to have a loop int i initialized with 1 that is the initialization expression then i less than equal to n then i will be increased by 1 then curly brace open f equal to f into i so that is the expression for the product I have discussed in the previous programs also right so remember this when we multiply and store the product so we always have f equal to f into i never leave it as f into i that will be wrong when this task is over then we can simply uh, print the f uh, which is having the which will be having the factorial of the number but never place the print statement inside the loop because we want the result to be printed the final value of the factorial all right now we talk about the program class factorial inside that function which will be calculating the factorial of number n so public void cal int n curly brace open long f equal to 1 uh, then for loop int i equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus 2 that means i am moving uh, from 1 to n or the value of i is being changed from 1 to n all right every time it is being increased by 1 so keep in your mind 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 up to n so there will be f equal to f into i so first time f is 1 i is also 1 so 1 into 1 uh, is going to be 1 next time when the loop executes i is 2 I'm just talking in terms of number uh, when the n the value of n is 5 so i will be having 2 so 2 into 1 is 2 then f into uh, i that means this time f will be maintaining its previous value that is 2 and i is 3 so 2 into 3 that is 6 and then f is 6 so 6 into 4 that will be 24 then uh, 24 into uh, uh, into 5 so that will be producing what 120 and finally when this process is over 
we print the factorial of the number statement will be factorial of the number n is f thanks for watching the video please do subscribe my channel press subscribe button thank you